We are back with scientists announcing a major advancement in their long-running quest to harness what they refer to as fusion. That is the same energy that powers the sun and the stars, and it could one day provide clean energy. Here's CBS News correspondent Michael George. Science fiction is one step closer to reality. The Energy Department announced a breakthrough in the decades-long quest for nuclear fusion. Scientists at the National Ignition Facility achieved fusion ignition, and that is creating more energy from fusion reactions than the energy used to start the process. Fusion is the energy that powers the sun and stars. It works by pressing hydrogen atoms into each other with such force that they make helium and release enormous amounts of energy and heat. The technology has been around since the hydrogen bomb, but it's extremely hot and incredibly difficult to control, possibly until now. If we can advance fusion energy, we could use it to produce clean electricity, transportation fuels, power heavy industry, so much more. Scientists are still likely decades away from scaling this energy to power our grids. But this laboratory first is a first step towards clean energy. Just remember, fusion power has no nuclear waste to speak of, no meltdowns to worry about. Current nuclear power plants use fission, which breaks apart atoms to create energy. Even though it's not burning fossil fuel, they create radioactive waste, and reactor meltdowns can harm humans and the environment. Fusion could change all that. We're long overdue to have converted something so destructive that finally it could be used for a peaceful purpose in the service of civilization. And help make reliance on fossil fuels a thing of the past. Michael George, CBS News, New York.